I've got a story for this. It's don't don't think I just threw this together. I do have a story for it. Good evening, everybody. This is Glenda with Fralins and Friends Crafts Plus. I was going to do this in the other room, kind of get out of this little quarters here. Although I kind of like my little quarters here, but I was going to get in the other room, but we've got that table loaded down with stuff for a visit tomorrow from a nurse from from my Advantage plan. She's just going to come down and just check all my medicines, check on me. It's kind of a kind of a baseline visit. So that'll be interesting. And I do have something I'm thinking about showing you. Oh, I'll show you. I've got a story for this. It's don't don't think I just threw this together. I do have a story for it. But I want you to have a chance to look at it for a few minutes and make a story of your own, if you so choose. And this is it. This messy looking thing. Now it's made that way on purpose and for a reason. I have a whole story for this thing, but it's a short story, very short, but I just think it's so fun when you guys get to put your input. So you can you can make up your own little story to go with this mess. <laughs> it's a Halloween mess. I'll give you a good look at all the different angles here. Let you take a gander at what you think might be happening there. Or you can write a more friendly story about our bat. And I will read your stories online. As I like to do. <laughs> that is funny looking eyes I have there. Those are. I have had this question asked several times, especially around our anniversary or when people happen to ask how long I've been married. And then the question is, well, first it's congratulations, and then it's, how did you stay married so long? How have you stayed married so long? Because I always say, I'm still in love with my husband. Or I still love my husband very much. May I, I don't always say in love, but I am in love with him. The thing is, and I'm going to try and make this short, I don't know if I get as many of those questions from right here around the Midwest as I do from other places, but I don't want to be judging, but this is the Midwest. is kind of considered the Bible Belt. So for one thing, you're expected to stay married. However, there are divorces, and I was divorced from my first husband. And this is my take. Our, our, my first one didn't work because... There are certain toxic things that can happen in a marriage and happen to a person and types of abuse where I believe it is warranted to end the marriage. And for one thing, we were way too young. And for another, I'm not going to go into a lot of details. Let's just say it was getting toxic and was going to be more and more toxic. And I didn't want to raise my daughter in that atmosphere. So, on word, <laughs> Joe and I got married. We were young. We were 20 and 19. He was a 19-year-old, by the way. <laughs> but he was more mature at 19 than some 30-year-old people I've met. So... And my, I talked to my dad and stuff about it, and he agreed. I mean, he's, he got to know Joe, and he said, yeah, I agree, he is. But is he ready to take on this whole family? Yeah, because I had, you know. And I said, well, he's, he says he is. Now, we didn't know each other a long time. Now, I'm not promoting young marriage. I think it's a case, I think it's a, 
person by person thing. I'm not going to encourage young marriage, but I, I don't want to say that it's always a mistake either because it is. We got married in 1976. <laughs> Our love has continued not because we fell head over heel in love when we first got married. I'm not saying we weren't in love. I'm just saying it isn't because we got into this huge chemi chemical uh, rush right away or that we, you know, I'll tell you what, that chemical rush, it flows and wanes and comes back again. And it, there's days you're not going to want to touch that other person. There's days you're not going to want to see that other person. But you wake up determined that this is my spouse. This is someone that I have chosen to love. There's where I talk to people. Because love is always a choice. Otherwise, God would not have commanded us to love. That's how I see that. If we had the capacity to just, I'm not saying that, infatuation doesn't happen it does what i am saying is that love is a choice we don't always we don't love everything in the same way i mean i can not fall in love with a dog and just you know oh i loved my duchess for years and i'm not saying i loved her more than joe but it was a different kind of thing but you have to choose that love you have to choose to stay with that love. And you choose to love your enemy. You choose to love your neighbor. You choose to love yourself. Choose to love your spouse. And choose to love them. For as long as you both shall live. Unless, like I said, there is something very toxic in the relationship. And... Sometimes that can be a very one-sided thing, but it just don't stay. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I don't recommend staying in an abusive relationship or a toxic one. And men can be abused too. I have seen it. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep harping on this one. It's just the people have asked me and I've always, and it's just always what I say. I just said, well, I just, I love him. And there's days I'm not always in, in, in love with him. I know there's days he's not in, in love with me. Although we choose every day to love each other and be loving. Love is an action verb. And I believe that's why God commanded us to love. I love I is the subject, love is the verb. I just want to tell all of you, I do choose to love you. I don't know you all personally. Many of you, we've gotten to know each other over through this vid those, these videos over several years. And people say, well, it could be a catfish. It could be, well, if you are, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I really am. Because if somebody's going to try and lead me astray, they're really not my friend. And I'm not going to keep them. <laughs> I'm not going to keep them on my channel if they're going to try and lead me astray. I love all of you. Let's end on a funny note. On a fun and funny note. I'm going to get this down to much less than it is now. I've been looking at some, oh, anyway. No, our Halloween extravaganza, that's what I think I'm going to call it. If the thing lets me know that that's a good one. But it's going to be very, it's going to have stories and it's going to have some music. This is going to be one of the big stories. But it's going to be kind of, kind of Halloween cute. Kind of gory cute. <laughs> That's a whole new terminology. Gory cute. <laughs> and, of course, we'll have our, all our bugs. And I have an outfit. Or I have a costume that 
especially for that one. So we will see you manana. I took this weekend off because, well, I have a birthday. Just turned 65, so I figured why not. And because I was working on trying to figure out how to put this doodad together. But I got it, so. Love you all. Good night.